Let's expand and simplify x plus 1 squared. So we'll use the distributive property to do this. And it's probably easier to think about x plus 1 squared as just x plus 1 times x plus 1. It's the same thing as this, but now we can expand and simplify using the distributive property a little bit easier. So let's use this one here now. We could use the FOIL method just so we remember what we need to do here. Essentially, we're multiplying this term times everything here, and then this term times everything here. So we take the first term, that's the x times the first term here, that's x as well. So we have x squared. Then we have the outside term, that's x times this term over on the outside here. So x times 1, that's x inside. That's the 1 times x, so that's just 1x. We just call that x. And then the last term, that's the 1 times 1. 1 times 1, that gives us 1. So we can put these two together here to simplify. That gives us x squared plus 2x plus 1. So when we expand and simplify x plus 1 squared, or x plus 1 times x plus 1, when we expand and simplify that, this is what we end up with. If we factor this, we'll get that x plus 1 times x plus 1. Also, we could call that x plus 1 squared. This is Dr. B. Thanks for watching.